Okay, so. Ma'am, page chapter number 15. Ma'am, yeah. page number 95. Yes. Ma'am, 94, ma'am, 94. Correct. Ma'am, this page we have done yesterday. Yes. We shall move to a different page. We shall start from next page today. Ma'am, we will start to the 94 page number. Changing voice in various yes, places. Yes, ma'am. This is the part we are supposed to discuss. Or I'm supposed to. And exercise everyone's homework. Okay. Yes, ma'am. We have done that. Okay, good. So, mm, changing voice in the various tenses. While changing sentences from the active to the passive voice, the main verb is changed to be plus past participle form of the verb. Look at this table for the changes in verb form for each tense. So what you have to do is that you have to mainly focus on the um, change, the, the change or the changes that took place in verb form for each tense. Let's see. The first is the simple tense. Active voice, she studies physics. Okay, simple present. The second one is simple, past tense. She studied physics, studied. Studies changes to studied. And in future, it will be she will study physics. We all know we use will when we're uh, talking about a, uh, a point of time that uh, is related to future. We are not sure about it, but we are assuming that she will study physics. Next point is uh, the, the next point of focus that we are supposed to focus on is the passive voice. In all its three tenses, and it's associated. How is this associated with present, past, and future? How are we supposed to write this? Physics is studied by her. Physics was studied by her. Physics will be studied by her. So what they have asked you to do is, you have to look at this table carefully and then try to understand. So you just let me know if there is anything that you didn't understand so that I can explain. No, ma'am. No, ma'am, we can no, understand. Okay. Second point is continuous tense. That means be verb plus we have the, uh, this form for uh, this form of verb plus ing. She is studying physics, active voice, continuous tense, continuous present tense. She is studying physics, continuous past tense. She was studying physics, continuous future tense. She will be studying physics. Next up we have, this is in passive voice. Physics is being studied by her. Physics is being studied by her. Physics was being studied by her. No passive voice in case of future continuous tense. Again, you take a look at this table and let me know if there is anything I need to explain. No, ma'am, no doubt. Okay. No, ma'am. No doubt. Fine. Okay, ma okay, fine. Hmm. Next up, we have all the perfect tenses. I won't say all the, yes. Perfect, present, perfect past, future perfect tense. Active voice, she has studied physics. Perfect, past tense, 
she had studied physics. Perfect, future. Future tense, will have studied physics. Passive voice, physics has been studied by her. Okay, physics had been studied by her. Physics will have been studied by her. The perfect continuous tense does not have a passive form. So we are focusing only on the perfect tense and not perfect continuous tense. Since it does not have a passive form, everything is active there. Everything is in the form of active voice. Okay, let's solve exercise D. Are you ready? Yep. Yeah, that's great. Her behavior annoys me. What you have to do is that you have to change the sentences from active to passive voice. After you have gone through that table carefully, then only you will be able to solve these questions. Then only you will be able to answer these questions. So did you go through that table? I'll just give you two minutes to have a look at the table again, and then we shall start solving the exercise, okay? Just two minutes, not more than that. Okay, so let's move on to the exercise part. Exercise B. Hello, are you there? Hello? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma okay, yes, ma'am. Exercise B, number one. Her behavior annoys me. Change this into passive voice. Me is annoyed by her behavior. Ma'am, I have him. Ma'am, I will. Yes, I that will be. I am. Ma'am, I am annoyed by her behavior. Correct. I am annoyed by her behavior. Ma'am, because in a uh, passive voice, me will be I. Yes. I am annoyed by her behavior. <clears throat> Good. Number two. She asked me to come again. Ma'am, I was asked by her to come again. Correct. You can also keep this, this by her, this phrase, this, this uh, expression by her in uh, what you call this parenthesis. Do you know what a parenthesis is? No, ma'am. Parenthesis is like it's a set of two uh, bracket-like structure on both sides of a like you know a text. We just we just write the text and you just uh, put them in the brackets. Those brackets are called parentheses. So you can put this by her part in parentheses as well because it's not necessary that you have to go on mentioning by her, by him, by this, by that. No, not all the time. So you can also say, I was asked to come again. I was asked to come again. 
this is um, another answer. That's correct. Absolutely correct. Number three, they liked her performance. Ma'am, performance? No. Ma'am? No. Yes. Performance liked by them. You cannot begin the sentence with the word performance in this case. Yes, ma'am. That really, ma'am. Ma'am, I think. performance. Ma'am, yes. her performance was liked by them. Correct. Her performance was liked by them. Her performance was liked by them. Number four, the museum guide always answers the visitor's questions. The museum guide always answers the visitor's questions. Then the and questions of visitors were always answered by the museum guide. Were always or are always? Ma'am, the, ma that ma the visitor's question. Ma'am, are always. Yes, ma'am, are always guide, are always guided answered. by the guide of the museum. Yes. Now, museum guide. Yes, that's also correct. So the visitor's questions are answered by the museum guide. It would be our answer because the verb is in the simple present tense. So we cannot change the tense. We have to keep the tense the way it is, but we have to change the voice. So like, do you understand what I mean? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Since yes, the verb is in the simple present tense, we have to, we cannot make changes in the tense but we have to change the voice. Number five, the two presidents are signing the climate change treaty. Ma'am, that will be, ma'am, the, cli the climate, uh, uh, you know, the climate is being signed the, by the two presidents. Yes, the climate change treaty are the climate change Ma'am, that will be R or is. Ma'am, I think is. Change treaty. Ma'am, the climate is signed by the two presidents. Is being or are being? What you said? Ma'am, ma is, ma'am. Ma 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 because there is climate is one singular. That's why I think. Yes, is. climate change treaty. That means they are talking about one single uh, treaty. That's why it would yes, be the. Climate is change man. treaty is being signed. Is being signed. Is, is being, being signed, signed by, by the, by the two presidents. presidents. Correct. Number six. My father irons and folds our school uniforms every night. And school uniforms are ironed by my father every night. It will begin with our school uniforms. Ma'am, our school uniforms are iron and folds by my father. No, irons and folds, no. It won't be irons and folds. It's wrong. Rethink again. Rethink. Oh my God, I've used the word rethink again. I said rethink plus I said again. <laughs> that means I am just putting a double emphasis i'm emphasizing on it but it's called and it's also called double emphasis when you are saying the same thing just as i said rethink you need to rethink Why does this, this keeps on happening? See, I'm just, just zooming in and it just zooms out all of a sudden. God. Ma'am, can I tell this now? Yes. 
ma'am that will be i think ma'am our school uniforms are ironed and folded by my father every night okay ma'am can i tell yes ma'am i all just ma that i think that our school uniforms are ironed and folded every night by my father yes Iron and iron fold. Is, it's not iron and fold. There is something wrong. From here, iron and fold is the part. Yes. So here it would be our school uniforms are ironed and folded every night by my father. And we can also yes, tell by my father every night. But but you see, generally by and then blah blah blah. Whatever it is, it is placed at the end of the sentence. You see, in case of in every case, in every in every passive voice, you see it's placed at the end of the sentence by her, by him, by them. That's why. Yes, ma'am. Then I will write every night. No. Oh, that's correct. I'm not saying it's incorrect, but this one is the appropriate form where you say. Our school uniforms are ironed and folded every night by our father or by my father, whatever it is. So you try to add that um, that by mm, blah 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 at the end of the sentence. Okay. Okay, ma'am. Hmm. Number seven. The party planner is booking the auditorium. Ma'am, the auditorium is being booked by the party planner. Correct. Ma'am, the auditorium is being booked by the party planner. Correct. Number eight. Sally has to bake fifty cookies for the birthday party. Sally has to bake. Fifty cookies for the yeah, birthday party. Ma'am, that will be. I think fifty cake had um, cake, have been. Ma'am, cake. Sorry, ma'am. Sorry, ma'am. Cookies. Yes. Ma'am, that will be fifty cookies have been baked by the by Sally for the birthday party. Okay. Fifty cookies have been baked by Sally. Have been baked for the birthday party by Sally. Yes, you can uh, put this thing at the end of the sentence as well. By Sally. Okay, fine. Number nine. Who drank the last bottle of mango juice? <laughs> as if I'm asking somebody from this class. Who did it? Who drank the last bottle of mango juice that I kept on the table? Who did it? Ma'am, I did it. Ma'am, can I tell? Ma'am, I think it will be by whom the last bottle of mango juice drank. What? Ma'am, I can tell. Yes, somebody else. Yes. Ma'am, the last bottle of mango juice was drank by whom? No. By who you can? By who, ma'am? Yes, you can. Ma by who the last bottle of mango juice drank? Drank. Who was that? Ma'am, the last in past tense. Yes. The last bottle of mango juice is drank by someone. The no, no, no. What are you saying? No, ma'am. That will be who will be by whom, ma'am? I think. Yes, by who? And that will be placed on first of the sentence. Ma'am, by whom the last bottle of mango juice was drank? Was drunk. Yes, ma'am, drunk. By whom was the last bottle of mango juice drunk? Okay, ma'am. By whom was the last? Bottle? Okay, ma'am. Number ten. The commanding officer will give. The cadets' instruction. Ma'am, 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 I I can tell. Yes. The cadets. Ma'am, the cadets will be given in the instruction by the 
commanding officer uh can you ma'am i can tell ma'am can i the cadet cadet will be given instruction by the commanding officers correct ma'am the cadet instruction will be ma'am the cadet instruction will be given by the commanders no commanding i think officer. i think i think what uh, what prince said just now that is the correct answer ma'am i think that will really be i i will repeat yes the cadet will be given instruction by the commanding officer yes the cadets will be given instructions by the commanding officer write it down if you are uh, confused regarding the answer write it down quickly no ma'am question number 3 answer 3 question number 3 Hello? Hello, hello. Hello? Ma'am, your network is cracking. Yes, yes. Hello? Is it okay now? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Now it is okay. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So, yes. Yes, ma'am. Now it is okay. Okay. So, I'm ending the meeting now. So, is there any doubt regarding this exercise? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. what is he saying okay thank you everyone bye ma'am bye ma'am bye have a nice bye, day have a thank nice bye, day bye ma'am happy durga puja bye ma'am happy durga puja bye sam thank you back happy at Dula. you yes back at you you enjoy your holidays too bye thank you <laughs> bye